Hello everyone, this is gonna be a bit of a weird one, and allow me to explain. So this is the original six draft. Yeah, title says that, right? But for some reason, first time I recorded this, I apparently forgot that the Bruins were an original six team, even though I mentioned them in the intro, I mentioned we could take Charlie McAvoy, and I had plenty of opportunities to take Bruins players, I just completely forgot, I blanked. So, I'm gonna do like a speed run fantasy draft here, and like sort of redo it because I don't want to waste the other footage either. So I'm going to put that one right after this. I already rendered the video and stuff or at least edited it. So yeah, let's, let's go. Time to do an original six speed run. Which draft position will we get? Hopefully it's all right. Are we going to be in the twenties again? 31. Why? There we go. It's prime. Patrice. Let's go with Maury. Jeffrey P. Try playing for Chicago right now. So there you go. Marcus Andre. That contract hurts. But Truba. Hmm, Brandon Gallagher. Jake the Snake Muzzin. Dominic Kubelik. He's on a good contract for his overall, for sure. Let's scoop up Nicholas Ritchie. Let us also obtain one Christopher Kreider. I'm pretty sure he's not playing in the NHL right now. Probably has something to do with the fact that they grabbed Flower. But anyway, um, still under contract with Chicago. Great contract also. So let's grab Subban. Subban doobie-doo. Eric Howla, centerman. We actually need centers, so that is perfect. Mm-hmm. Craig Smith. Got you, Bruins fans. We are definitely running low on cap space, considering how many spots we still have to fill. But, Felino, 3.8 million, I guess. Well, yeah. Fali? No. Just kidding, yes. All aboard the Wayne train. Ben Stiffer Chariot. I think I gotta take Jason Spezza, right? I just have to. Sam Gagne. I honestly don't know if I've drafted a Red Wing yet, which is a little concerning. But I remember now, at least. Nemesnikov, also a Red Wing. I actually had no idea we were on the last draft pick already. Okay, we need one more defenseman. Osterley. Yeah, here we have our draft summary. Okay, this time I think at least every team should have some representation. Hot start, 1-3-0, love it. So apparently I left injuries on. That sucks. Turned those off real quick. We are currently last place in the division. Love it. No one I see here, you know, I really want to try and get, so nah. There's blockbuster trade number one. Eh, there's blockbuster trade number two. Oh, we got a third. That normally doesn't happen. With a crazy turn of events, we might have a chance at playoffs here. But it's really all gonna... We actually made it. Wow. This is how the first page of our stats look. Very decent. Subban was apparently the one that got injured, so that's probably why uh, those still had to come in for a game. But regardless, um, I'm glad it was only one game based on all of this right here. Here's the league leaders for goalies. And because, of course, Connor McDavid with the Art Ross. No surprise here. There's us, fifth in the Atlantic with a playoff spot, 99 points. Toronto Maple Leafs with the Presidents. Just take a second to realize that... We were almost not going to make the playoffs, and we finished 5th in our division and 7th in the league. Okay. The 20th placed Arizona Coyotes made it in, and so did the 22nd placed Vancouver Canucks. Love that playoff system. Boston and Toronto in the playoffs, we all know how this one ends. Okay, Game 7. It's all setting up perfect. No way! Game's unrealistic. Colorado wins the cup. Congrats. And through the awards we go. I'm not even gonna read them. You're gonna have to do it yourself. Ooh, Zegra. Good for him. On the Golden Knights too? It's sick. Also, I'm pretty sure it's Zegras. So I'm gonna start calling him that instead of Zegra. I don't remember where I heard that. I think it was when they drafted him or something. But anyway, there you go. There's the playoffs. All right, now let's get into the other draft where I left out Boston for whatever reason. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing another fantasy draft, and I did this one on NHL 21. I thought it was pretty fun, and it was cool, so today we are doing the original six teams only draft. So, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So basically they have to be on either the Montreal Canadiens, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Detroit Red Wings, Chicago Blackhawks, and New York Rangers, or the Boston Bruins. And as we do, let's randomize the team here, and once again, I'm just gonna let it go for quite a bit. So we'll see where it lands, and on that note, let's talk about fantasy- just kidding, we get- there. That's very fitting. All right. We had close to a 19% chance of landing on one of the six teams, and we got it. Let's see which draft position we get. 18. It's gonna be a random guess. We- Why? What is with this? Ludicrous contract. But I'll take Mitch Marner to see where that, you know, lands us. Hopefully he sims well, at least. Ooh, Dylan Larkin. 87 overall, and he's only making 6.1. And yeah, he plays four. Detroit. So that works out just fine. Let's go ahead and grab him. Oh, wait a minute. At 4.9, we got Charlie McAvoy. Oh, this is tough. No, I'm gonna go... Mm, I'm gonna go with Larkin, yeah. Those... I see Riley there as well. They're gonna be gone. 
100%. Jeff Petrie plays for the Montreal Canadiens, so that's going to be our first defensive pickup. Man, we are flying through this right now. Which goaltenders still remain? I always press the wrong one. Goalies. So, I was about to say Freddie Anderson, but nope, no longer. Um, all right, interesting. I just realized I forgot to turn on one of the lights for the green screen. So, if it's sort of, you know, up until this point, kind of <laughs> sketchy and there's a piece like right about here, then you know why. I mean, he is 87 overall, so let's go with Igor from the Rangers. And yeah, we are really spreading it out here, actually. I love how fast the menus are as well. Um, funny enough, one of my friends was actually telling me that the menus are insanely slow. And I guess, yeah, he was playing on the PS4. And I, I suppose that it's clearly optimized for next gen because it flies on next gen. Tyler Bertuzzi. Plays for the Red Wings, 85 overall, 4.7, and a left winger, which we sort of need, so that's good. Hopefully we can get a defenseman soon as well. In fact, I might just... Ooh, Shea Weber. That contract is a lot, but that'd be a nice player to add. All right, let's just go ahead and do it. I could grab Taves, but that contract is... Yeah, it's, it's not very appetizing. Let's stack up on defense a bit here and grab Muzzin. So we have three defensemen now. We are definitely... Not making a lot of cap-friendly decisions here. We can add Kubelik, who's only making 3.7 and 84 overall. That is a good player to grab. Nice. All right. I'm, I have a good feeling about this draft so far, guys. I don't know about you. This is definitely going to hurt because I do want to try and stay above the cap. So we're going to have to really start making some smart decisions here. But I'm going to grab Chris Kreider for now anyway. Jack Campbell's 82 overall. All right. Well, yeah. 1.6 million. Plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs, of course, so there we go. Justin Hall, another Maple Leaf here. Only making 2 million and 82 overall, so yeah, that is going to be my next selection. We only have one center up till this point, which is a little bit concerning. Another Maple Leaf, Andre Kasha. Yeah, 1.2 at 81 overall, I can't really say no to that. What kind of player is he anyway? He was a sniper, that's not great, but anyway, we'll make it work. Another Maple Leaf. Alex Kerfoot, 81 overall, 3.5 though. We are really getting down there in cap, so this is going to be tricky when we get to the end here. But I think we can hopefully still pull it off. All right, I feel like we're literally just grabbing Maple Leafs right now. That's the way <laughs> this draft has been going the last few rounds. But the Wayne Train, I have to grab him. 81 overall, less than a million. Boom, there's another pickup. All right, so how many players do we have left? We need... Three more forwards and two more defensemen, and we are good to go. Brett Kulak plays for the Montreal Canadiens, and we do need two more defensemen. Very reasonable contract. Let's go ahead and make that selection. $14 million left, and we now need four players total. Oh, sorry, I think I actually missed one of the wingers, so never mind. We need one of each winger and two more centers, so... We need four forwards and one more defenseman now. So actually, we need five players overall. Yoel Armia, 3.4 million. We're going to really have to find some good contracts for these last players. Sam Gagne is actually with the Red Wings right now. And what is he? A two-way forward? Great. 79 overall. Absolutely. Nice. Jason Spezza. How did I miss this guy? Another Maple Leaf making 750 right now. 80 overall. We actually need one more center as well. That's a very solid late pickup here. And now we need only one forward and one defenseman. And we have $8 million of cap space. So that worked out very nicely. And then we get Ben Sherratt, who is on the Montreal Canadiens right now. 81 overall defenseman, 3.5 million. We can definitely afford that now. So that is our final defenseman. Now we just need one more forward. I think this team's gonna be pretty solid. I wanted to try and find someone that we've pretty much never picked before. So Ryan Carpenter. I mean, it's another centerman, but I'm sure one of the centers can play wing and they will be all right. So our draft is now completed. Let's go look at the lines and see what we can do. Oh, did I really leave owner mode on? Are you kidding me? I set it to auto owner mode. So hopefully that keeps some of the pop-ups away. But anyway, I'm not really sure how many there are because I haven't used that in a long time. But here's the team. I wonder if there's anything I can do to get some better chemistry going on. Or, I really shouldn't mess with it though, because apparently the game knows best. We've found that out many times. I put together lines, and they seem sick. They seem unreal, actually. And then they suck. I come back to best lines. The team's overall line chemistry goes down by about 50, and somehow we're amazing. Well, anyway, we'll run with this for now, see what happens. I gave 
all plus ones. So that's I haven't even checked defense yet. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy, we're in for one here, aren't we? Okay. All right, we get a plus two there. I really don't care what overall plays where anymore. It doesn't matter. Just give me some chemistry, please. Whoa, Weber and Petrie get a plus five on the first pair. Okay, that is going to stand. Absolutely. And do I want to go for the plus one, minus one, or do I want to go for zero, zero? Let's go plus one, minus one and see what happens. All right, plus five chemistry on that first pairing. Love to see it. So yeah, here we have the goaltenders who are also solid. I'm just going to kind of go through and make sure that we have... All the right teams. So we got the Rangers and then the Leafs. And I pressed the wrong one again. Um, Chicago, Detroit, Toronto, 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 Detroit, Rangers, Toronto, Chicago, the Kenegens, Detroit, Toronto. And then on defense, we've got Montreal, uh, Toronto, and then Montreal slash... Wait, is Kulak... I thought for some reason he was on Chicago, but maybe he's on Montreal. Yeah, he's definitely on Montreal. Okay, anyway, that's the team. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's see how well this team... You know what? I haven't made a prediction yet, so let me go back to edit lines real quick. I'm going to see if we get 40, 47 wins. So I'm going kind of bold here, considering we're not really that stacked overall. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. That plus five on defense is huge. And then... Hmm... Let's say we get Marner having 85 points. He'll be the most. So 47 wins. Marner the most points with 85. Let's get the simulation started and see how horribly wrong I am. Because that's usually how it goes. I will stop at the trade deadline most likely. Although, depending on how the team's doing, probably won't make any trades. Because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. But who really knows? All right, we're definitely not off to the hot start that I thought we would be. So I'm thinking about going to do best lines, but I still want to have that plus five for defense without a doubt. All right, we suck. We are absolutely terrible. So I'm only changing up the defense offense. I just did best lines. We'll see what happens there. And obviously a net can't really do a whole lot. So uh, let's, I don't know, man. I thought the team was sick, but apparently I don't know much. Especially when it comes to fantasy drafts, because I always usually think one thing and then the opposite happens. And I fall for it every single time, you know? It's not like I've learned from my mistakes yet. Like, oh, I thought this team was going to be good and we sucked for the last 30 times. Maybe next time, when I think the team's good, I should assume we're going to suck. We just went on a huge winning streak there, right before the break. So that is very good. We are in second place in our division right now with that record. And we are... Basically up there tied for first, which is insane. So clearly, we have a weak division, and that is going to insanely play to our benefit. All right, well, let's get up to the trade deadline here. We are still on a bit of a tear overall. Definitely winning more games than we're losing. Uh, let's keep the current trading block, and let's enter the deadline just to see who's available. Still don't think we'll make any trades. And anyone here that we could even grab um i guess yeah ryan strom that's about it let's see what they want for ryan strom maybe we'll pick him up he only oh 4.5 that's it interesting all right so what centers could we give you back i could give you alex kerfoot back i don't know how, how is that almost fair in value what overall is ryan strom he's 85 kerfoot's 81 and kerfoot's 27 28. All right. Well, let's just try this one for one, maybe. Let's see what happens. Will it go through? Did, am I missing something? Am I insane? Lowry and Murray to Toronto exchange for a first, a second, and Lopinen. Is that it? Nope. We got Arizona picking up Atkinson, Stetcher, and a third for a first, and Kostmar. That's probably going to be it. They usually only show two. Okay. Well, let's go edit the lines real quick. I will edit the defense again as well. 67 and 64. From Mitchell Marner so far. Best lines. All right. So Kubelik, Strom, and Marner now. I don't... Why, no, I'm doing this. Screw you, game. This better work out better. I don't understand you. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. And then defense. We have to move Weber up here. And that's how I had it. Okay, cool. Yep. I'm just going to run with this. Hold on a second. Am I missing someone? Why does it look weird? Why is Bertuzzi on... 
the fourth line. You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to run with it. So I think we still appear to have all the same players, except for, obviously, we now have the New York Rangers' Ryan Strom. Let's get back to the sim. So I went from basically being at a position where I thought playoffs were absolutely not going to happen to I would be floored if we don't make it because our division is just that sad. And it's looking very good for us right now. Even if we only win a few more games here, I think that it's in our favor. We might not win the division anymore, but I, I don't understand, man. The simulation engine in this game is whack. But anyway, we have two games left and we win both of them. Nice. So I think we ended with 45 wins, was that? I'm pretty sure we got the LA Kings in round one here, but... We have some stats to look at. Oh no, we finished with 44 wins and almost a pointy game out of Marner. He put up 81. So we did end up coming first in the central with 94 points. Not bad. I didn't want to do that. I forgot that it's alphabetical now. So yeah, whole league's in the middle there. But wait, is it even? Yeah, it is. All right. So Montreal won the President's Trophy with 118 points, 55 wins, never even reached 20 losses. So that is absurd. Good for them. And let's find out just for fun, who is the last team to make it in? I'm assuming it's going to be Nashville at 18, but I'll go down a little bit further just to be sure. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Interesting. So the Lightning finished 13th in the league. It didn't make the playoffs and the Rangers finished 15th and didn't make the playoffs, but it's definitely a little bit rougher for the Lightning. Anyways, let's go look at some individual stats. So Marner, 81 points, as we pointed out. Larkin with 74, Kubelik, 57. Kasha with 54, Bertuzzi 51. Oh, Spezza with 47. Out of boy. What a legend. All right, so there you go. Yoel Armia was a dash 16. What are you doing, Gagne? It was a dash 29. All right, anyways, let's have a look at our. I always press the wrong one. Goldies. Shesterkin, 37, 24, and 5, with four shutouts and 9, 17, and 256. No idea what Jack Campbell is doing out there, but wasn't playing goalie, that's for sure. Let's go to the entire league, which this time it is actually at the top. Um, Cal Peterson, 45 wins. Nice. He's at the top with a 922, 231 for the Pity Pence. Flower with the Bruins. Markstrom with the Ducks. There is Shesterkin. He did quite well. Freddie Anderson. All right. Wait, who did Montreal have in net then? They got to have someone with a lot of wins, right? Hello? Do they just like basically, they must have two really good goalies. So. They had Spencer Knight, who, yeah, played 46 games. So I guess they did basically do half and half. Who's the other goalie? I mean, I'm going to go look at their roster anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We'll find out in a sec. Leon Dreisaitl for the Toronto Maple Leafs puts up 106, and he wins himself the Art Ross. McKinnon with 101. Ovi with 99, just shy of 100, but 51 tucks. Let's actually see... Who got the most goals? It is Ovi with 51, so another Rocket Richard for him. And let's have a look at the lines for the Montreal Canadiens, just so we can see what they... I probably would have been faster to go down. Anyway, they had Landis Cog, McKinnon, and Nyquist. That's a really good first line. Kairou, Backstrom, and Kadri. Duclair, Frost, Niederreiter, and then Goche, Lapierre, and Bjork. So they do have a very solid offense here, I must say. On defense, they got Pelik and Ristolainen. Then they got Eric Johnson and Valimaki and Butcher with Jensen. And net, they had Spencer Knight, as we know, and Jimbo, James Reimer. All right, how many games did he end up playing? Actually, I guess we got to go here. So he played 37 games and he went 23 11 and 2 with a 920. Nice. All right, time to get first rounded as we do. Let's simulate up to the end of the playoffs here. Right now, we are up 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, and we actually take it home 4-2 against the LA Kings in round number one. We get the Wild here, and we are up, oh my word, we make it all the way to the conference finals. Things are looking good, and Anaheim absolutely destroyed us. Neat. And they're in the finals against the Montreal, and they won the cup. So they just made the super team, apparently. Marner had a good playoffs, put up 21 points in 17 games played. Um, I'm not going to make the joke, but I'm sure you know where that's going. Anyways, awards. Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup. They also won the Presidents. And then there you go. So individual. Dreisaitl with the Art Ross. Nate Mack gets the heart. The Norris goes to Sergachev. Johnny Goods gets the Lady Bing. Cole Caulfield with the Calder. Nate Mack with the Conn Smythe. Peterson with the Vesna. Allmark with the Jennings. 
We got Hamannick going to take home the Bill Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Tapper. Crosby with the Selkie. Nate Mack with the Lindsay. And, of course, Ovi with the Maurice Rocket Richard. The final playoff tree is now placed on the screen right in front of you if you're curious about that. So that's how that all went down. And, yeah, let's just check the HL just for fun. Oh, the Marlies go on to win the Calder Cup. I wish. I would have been there. I would have went to that game. If they made it there. I actually watched them win the Calder Cup. It was great. But anyway, yeah. Montreal, they lost two games the entire playoffs. I don't know. Like, their team was good, but it wasn't that good. Come on. They must have had the most incredible line chemistry of all time. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. That was definitely more successful than some of the drafts we've had um, recently. So that's good. And yeah, let me know if you have any other draft ideas. Comment down below. And I will see you guys very soon.